What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. So today, we're going to be putting some brakes on this old gal. Let's get to it. So for the brake line, I went with the copper nickel line. Uh, I feel like it'll look a lot better up against this brown. Let me show you guys. I just feel like, in my opinion, that the copper complements this brown a lot better than the steel line does. That's the only reason I went with it. But honestly, with copper being a softer metal, it'll make the bends that I need to do a lot easier to make this thing look show worthy and just to make it look clean. So just remember guys, if at any time during this video you like the content and, and wanna see more, hit that like button, subscribe, turn those notifications on and follow this build. Let's get to it. So I promise you guys, I won't be doing a whole lot of talking there in this video. Just wanted to go over real quick where I'm actually gonna route these brake lines, um, where the residual valves are gonna go and stuff like that, so. Uh. So the objective today is to get the brake line routed to the back. There's already a bracket right there on the firewall. So just gotta tie it into that. I'm gonna route it underneath this master cylinder over to this corner where the uh, front residual valve is gonna go. Uh, don't mind this it's just for temporary mock-up so I can get fluid into the master cylinder um, I have an aluminum one coming I either have a gold or a black one I'm gonna try out see which one looks better but that is not staying in there so don't give me crap for that but uh, for the front lines we're gonna go from here around all the way down to the subframe and then back up into the hole where the brake line goes and connects to the hose over here. And then for this side, I'm gonna try to route it underneath as far down as I can. Probably try to do the trans tunnel if I can. Onto this side of the subframe, over to this hole and down to that brake line. Then all I'll have to do is bleed them so if all goes well, the old guy will have brakes on her by the end of the day, but that's enough talking. Let's get to work.
Okay, so that wraps it up for that line. Good flare. So that should seal. Hopefully. It'll seal. I did it. So. But now I've got to make the other lines. So let's get back to the time lapse. Okay, so a man always admits when he's been defeated. I forgot to even check the length I needed for the fittings. So I had to remake this hose. This is actually the new line. Remake the line. This is actually the new line. Uh, so we're good to go now. Let's get back to it. Okay. So I was able to get most of my lines done. I am missing two or three fittings still to finish up completely, but I was able to get most of my brake lines done. Uh, I'll show you that right now. So I was able to at least route the brake line all the way to the back. That's pretty much done other than the residual valve needs to be installed, but I'm going to put that somewhere underneath the car. But as for the front residual valve, that's installed right there but I don't have the fittings to put a T so I can tee it off for the both front brake lines. But other than that, she's pretty much done. Um, I'm gonna get the fittings either tonight or tomorrow. So I'll finish this video up tomorrow for y'all. Okay, so I went to get the fittings yesterday. Uh, didn't get a video on it, but I did get my brake lines finished up. So I did end up tucking it underneath everything behind here and routed it right there that's the t i needed the fittings for but i got the blake's brit blake's brakes bled goodness gracious i can't talk it's been a long day but i got the brakes bled everything's routed just need to get the little grommet for that side and that side but other than that she has brakes so she stops um only thing i got left is I'm waiting for the guy to send me the crank pulley and I need to get a fan so I can wire up my fan uh, relay and then register and then she'll be good to go I'll be able to daily drive her work out any little kinks that come up but uh, as far as that I'll probably switch out this fuel filter uh, it's pretty nasty it still had some rotten fuel in it in the lines and the tank the bottom settled but other than that she's good old gal's almost ready for the road um, and of course gonna fix that I'm starting to get some surface rust on here so I really need to finish this up um, I'll probably probably just get it in primer like the hood get it in primer stage and then I'll start either finish the car or just prime the whole car so it's all one one color but still got some a few dents it's gonna need to be fixed right here um, gonna have to fix this quarter panel back here fix this I started on it the, a whole bunch of bondo right here so i had to grind that down but it's worked out now it's pretty straight um little dent right here i mean it's just little stuff uh, i need to put the exhaust on finish that dash pad and then later on i'm gonna get the seats reupholstered i have a cool idea for that so stay tuned for that uh, did end up breaking my shifter so that's great so i'm gonna have to fix that you know never ending troubles on classic cars but that's the fun of it just gotta stay positive and keep working on it uh hopefully keep bringing y'all good feed and hopefully y'all like what i'm doing so far but hopefully you guys like what i'm doing so far uh picked up new legends merch so go check him out, uh, Dustin Williams or Legends Media. Um, not sponsored. Uh, I just really like their stuff. That's what the sticker came from. 
and um, I got a few shirts from them. Got another sticker. Uh, actually got a jacket that has that same uh, logo and design. Uh, let's see, got another a midnight shirt, uh, but I mean, they're cool merch. Uh, he does a lot of cool uh, Japanese stuff, so go check his channel out. Again, not sponsored. I just really, uh, really like the guy, and I really like his channel. That's kind of what made me want to get started doing all my builds and stuff. So if you really like what you saw today, guys, uh, I know it wasn't much. Just uh, hit that like button, hit the subscribe, and stay tuned for more. There will be a lot more I'm going to do on this car. Uh, so... I know I've kind of done a lot of it off camera, but I'm gonna to try to um, videotape it more. It's kind of hard to work and hold the camera at the same time, but I'll try my best. Uh, hopefully my buddy Mike can help me out more and uh, he can record record while I'm working on the vehicle. So that'll help out a lot, but um, just stay tuned for more. Hit the like button, tell your friends, and I'll see y'all later. Thanks for watching.